As fast as mankind's methods of communications have evolved, so too have surveillance technologies designed at breaching privacy. Today, they are terrifyingly sophisticated and capable of grabbing more information than ever before. But over the past 20 years, since eradicating the threat of terrorism has become the state's ultimate dictum, governments have granted themselves more and more access to our communications. Intelligence agencies don't need to actually think we're doing anything suspicious anymore. They have in fact declared it their mission to collect it all and master the internet. These are direct quotes. They're subject to very limited legal codes and using these crazy science fiction-like technologies that make tracking everyone and everything a terrifying reality. That's right, every phone call, every email, every site you visit, place you go to and text you send. Sometimes governments are forcing companies to turn your data over to them. Other times they just say screw it and tap networks directly, giving them unlimited and unchecked access to everything we say. Now, because no one likes an ignoramus spouting conspiracy theory about Big Brother watching us, we're going to take you on a whistle-stop tour of the three main ways your communications are being spied on. The first is network monitoring. From tapping a line to tapping a country, network monitoring consists of inserting or modifying physical infrastructure to perform surveillance. This includes over the phone and over the internet. In terms of volume, technology sold on the open market is capable of capturing 12 million emails a day. But throw some serious cash into it and you can buy similar technology that will allow an entire country's mobile and fixed line network to be tapped, all at the same time. Second is tactical monitoring. Every bit as powerful as mass monitoring of networks, tactical monitoring is more discreet. It compromises both the networks and the devices. Mobile phone surveillance equipment called IMSI catchers essentially pretend to be powerful base stations and force every single phone in a given area to connect to it, all the while capturing personal identifying data from your phone. These are a big hit with law enforcement globally because they help track suspects, but they don't discriminate. So next time you're at a protest or in a government building, just bear in mind that you're being caught in the dragnet too. Another type of tactical monitoring is spyware, which is a kind of malicious software sent to a target's phone or computer that infects it without you even knowing and gives the operator total control over the device. It monitors everything that appears on the screen, tracks keyboard entry and monitors all communications, including historic conversations like email or chat. Oh, and not to mention that it can also make recordings of live audio and video from the device. So it essentially becomes a spy itself, allowing for real time historical, digital and real world surveillance. And finally, we have centralised monitoring, which collates, processes and retains all data collected through surveillance. Not only is the data retained, but operators can perform extensive profiling and analysis and learn more about you than you might even tell your closest friend. Shivers up your spine? Us too. If all our moves are being watched by government, then are we all suspects? Suspects of what? Let us be really clear. It's not just the NSA or Western intelligence agencies that are doing this. There is a huge industry where companies sell all these surveillance technologies to any interested government, regardless of their human rights record or intentions. The threat of pervasive surveillance isn't a theoretical one. It's merely a question of budget. Considering going dark? Don't. We're working to expose the secretive world of government surveillance and the technologies that enable human rights abuse. Learn more about our global advocacy, research and monitoring projects and about communication surveillance at privacyinternational.org.